This is Mr. Determination, currently logged in as Mobile Oak, and I'm going to run through a brief tutorial on the Revelations fleet, wing, and squad gang system. Hopefully I'll be able to clear up some questions um, relating to why field commanders are asking for people with leadership 5 and things like that. You can see that I am currently logged in as Mobile Oak and ganged with Wapox. I am the boss. This does not mean that I can warp gang members or uh, have any of those rights. It does mean that I am effectively the um, empowered administrative assistant of the gang. And that means that at this time I can convert the gang to a fleet. Once we are a fleet, it will mean that I can do anything I want with this fleet. So I can create squads under wings, or I can create wings under fleets. I can add squads to any of the wings, and I can move players within the wings in different squads or I can even move them between wings into roles of squad member, squad commander, wing commander, etc. I can also, because I'm the boss, move myself to be a wing commander as I do not have fleet command skills. And then I can move people, because I'm the boss, from other wings into my current wing like so. So I'm moving Wapox from uh, Squad 1 into Squad 3's Squad Commander. And this leaves Wing 1 and Squad 1 and 2 empty. It makes me Wing 2's Commander and I have Wapox as Squad 3's Commander. You will notice that I am not receiving bonuses from the fleet commander, as there is no fleet commander. You will notice that I am receiving bonuses from myself, as I am ganged with somebody at my level, or underneath me, for the skills that I have, in local space, and they are undocked. If I could make myself a member of Wapox's squad at the same time, um, with another character, you would see that I was receiving bonuses from Wapox if he had a high enough leadership skill, and we'll get into that in just a second. And I'd also be receiving bonuses from Mobile Oak, as Mobile Oak is a wing commander. So, for just a moment, I'm going to move myself back up to Fleet Command, and we'll move Wapox back to where he started. Just a member of Squad 1. And you will see that nobody is receiving bonuses here. If I move myself down to the squad commander of squad one, you'll see those bonuses kick in again. So squad commanders can warp people around that are in their squad, wing commanders can warp people around that are in their wing, and fleet commanders can warp everyone around from the whole fleet. Fleet commanders are not the boss, but fleet commanders have control of everything in their um, in their chain which means that any wings that are under them or any squads that are under them they can control where those people are as a wing commander you can control people in your squads you can move those members into leadership positions within your wing so you can move them from being say a member in squad 2 to the leader of squad 3 etc as a fleet commander, I could move someone that was a member of Squad 2 into being a leader uh, or a wing commander for Wing 2, etc. The reason we ask for people with Leadership 5 is because as a wing commander, if I promote myself, as a wing commander, if I want to get bonuses to a pox, there has to be, if, if I could log in as Wapox right now, you would see that there would be a red light right here. I need a conduit to get to him. And leadership levels trained to 5 allow you to bonus 10 people, which is an entire squad. If you have leadership 4, only 8 people within your squad can receive the bonus. 
So if you have leadership four, or sorry, if you have leadership five and one high skill like an armored warfare that was higher than my as the wing commander's armored warfare skill, they would get your your squad members would get your high armored warfare skill and the rest of my skills. Generally, people that have wing command trained up are going to have pretty high skills in all the areas of the bonuses. So we want to make sure that we're passing those bonuses down into our squads to each individual squad member and we need conduits with leadership 5 to allow for that. And it'll be the same thing once we get people trained up into fleet command. They'll be looking for people with high wing command skills to be conduits to larger groups of people to pass those skills down to squad leaders with leadership 5, etc. So again, just to recap, a squad leader can warp people around at their discretion. A wing commander can warp people around at their discretion, move people in between their squads at their discretion. A fleet commander can warp the fleet around at his discretion and move people around within any of the uh, functions of the fleet at their discretion. A boss can't do anything except for move people around the entire fleet at their discretion. And then finally, uh, of note, anybody can handle gang invites. So if we're putting together a large gang, a fleet commander will appoint wing commanders first, the wing commander will appoint squad commanders, and then people at all three levels can handle gang invites. I uh, hope this has been helpful, and if there are a uh, lot of other questions, I may replace it with a, another file later. Thanks, and happy hunting.